Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now we will examine some formulas that are commonly used when dealing with tables. The first functions that we will discuss are in the lookup and reference function category. There are two primary functions within this function set that are used to look up table data. You can use these functions to look up a column value in a table and then return a corresponding column value from the same row. The first, hlookup, will look up data values in a table that is structured in rows with a header column on the left. The second and more commonly used function, vlookup, will look up data values in a traditional columnar table with a header row. Based on the layout of the table in which you're looking up data, you will need to use either one or the other to look up a data value within a table. There are three required arguments and one optional fourth argument that you must know before you can create a lookup function. Arguments are the additional pieces of information that a function requires in order to be performed. First, you must know the lookup value. This is the value which you want to look up within the table. This is most commonly a cell reference. Second, you need to know the cell range reference of the table within which you want to look for the lookup value. This is called the table array. Third, you need to know the column or row index number. This is the number of columns to the right of the leftmost column, or the number of rows down from the top row in the table, within which Excel must look for the data that you want it to return. The optional fourth argument is range lookup. This is a logical value, either true or false, which you can enter if needed. If omitted, this argument is assumed to be true. What it does is specify whether or not you wish to perform a ranged lookup on the data within the database. If you need to find an exact match for your data, often when you're looking up text values, you can insert false for the range lookup argument in order to find an exact match in the table. For example, let's say that you have a columnar customer table in a worksheet. In that sheet, you want to create a cell that will automatically look up the customer's address when you type in the company name in an adjacent cell. Assume that the first column of the table contains the customer's company names and the third column of the table contains the customer's addresses. You can then write a function that will take the value of the cell adjacent to it, which is the lookup value, compare it to the customer table, the table array, look up the customer's company name in the first column until it finds an exact match, and then count over three columns, which is the column index number, to find the customer's address. Once again, since we want the function to find an exact match of the customer name, we'll add the false value to the range lookup argument in this case. So if we wanted to enter that, you would select the cell, and here we'll use the insert function. In this case, because it's a traditional structure table with a header row, we'll use the vlookup function. So the lookup value is the cell that we want to look up. In this case, this is where we would type the company name. The table array is a reference to the actual table where you want to look for this information. The column index number is the number of columns or rows over from the left where you'll want to find the information. In this case, we're looking for information from the third column, the address, so we would just type 3. Since we don't want it to perform a range lookup, we'll put in false for the range lookup value so it'll find an exact match. Now, right now it shows NA because there's no information typed into cell A2. So after you create the formula, you could then type a customer name into the cell that's being looked up, and the cell into which you've placed the formula will then display the customer's address after looking it up in the table. And in this case, we do use the vlookup function because the example stated we had a traditional columnar table in which we were looking up the data. And once again, it does look for an exact match.
Now, when you're entering the table array value for the lookup function, it might be useful to assign it a range name or to make it an absolute reference. Named ranges are always assigned as absolute references, so that will ensure that the table array argument will not change if you happen to copy and paste this formula. Now, if you don't use named ranges, you can assign the table array as an absolute reference by simply typing the dollar symbol before both the column reference letters and the row reference numbers for both cell references in the range. Just remember, if you don't do this, the lookup function may not work if you copy it to a new location. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.